You guys had so much pressure on your back. Oh my god! I know you guys see all the media. Pressure right? makes diamonds. Pressure, pressure makes diamonds. diamonds. Oh yeah. my! This getting stolen from your thing, dude. Dude retired. Coach left. <laughs> then they're like, Ibra Flus might be gone. I'm like, I don't know how the players are handling this. Like. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's the St. Brown Brothers. We're back for another episode. Um, I know I didn't play last week, but hopefully I'll play next week or this upcoming week. Um, we do have a special guest for you guys. This time, it's not my guest. It might be my brother's guest. We got the wings. He asked for us. Yep. Um, but yeah, let's get into a big dub. Um, I know you probably saw it. We're on a roll. What do you have to say about that? Good for you guys. I'm happy for you guys, man. You guys are doing well. It's been a long time coming. I know the Detroit fans have been hurting for a long time. So I'm glad yeah, to see you. That's I'm happy, false. I'm happy for the fans, man. But yeah, um, I know you didn't play, but great win. Thank but you. Also, yeah, but I saw also, you know, you met D Book on the sideline, took a picture of him, posted it on your story or whatnot. Um, did you know he's from Michigan? Like, what was I that did. Like? I oh, you did? That. I knew that. Um, since when? Uh, shoot. I'm going to say since I got, like, once I got drafted. Really, oh, okay. I started okay. finding out a bunch, you know, okay. like w once you get, once I got drafted, I'm like, damn, I didn't know all these dudes are from Michigan. Hmm. So-and-so, boom, boom. Like, I was more aware of who's from Michigan. Mm -hmm. I realized he was from Michigan. Um, but nah, he uh, he reached out to my Instagram. He said uh, he's going to go, going to be at the game. I was like, bet. He's like, um, do you have a jersey? I want a jersey. I was like, yeah, I got one for you. I'm going to need one from you too, though. And then got to the game. He was down on the sideline. Chopped it up with him, gave him my jersey. He sent me one back. I uh, actually just got it today. Um, but no, nah, it was cool. There was a bunch of dudes on the sideline. You know, when you're winning, um, people want to be on the sideline. You know, but fans that might have been fans for a long time, they want to come out support. nowhere. Coming out of nowhere, huh? Just like I mean, not out of nowhere, but like they want to see like because they're they they want to see their team time. doing good. You know what I mean? Yeah, because they, they've been quiet for a long time. So. I mean, not quiet. Lions fans are faithful. I don't know how Chicago fans are, but no, no, no. I'm just saying they they're faithful, but just. Quiet, like they love, they, they, they love the quiet, Lions. but they've been quiet. They're Some like, are further away. They're never quiet. Just they've been quiet. You know what I mean? I'm seeing a lot more Lions jerseys now than I did. Eminem, Bro, been a Lions fan. Bro, you know Bro. what I mean? Yeah, I'm not Detroit saying they were fans. I'm not saying they were fans. They're just quiet. You know, just quiet. No, not quiet. Yeah. They, they're at all the games. Even when I was a rookie, still all huh? the games. We won like three games our rookie year at all the games. Oh, I mean, when I went, when I played there, when I was in Green Bay. Wasn't Still really, probably, wasn't really loud. Wasn't, wasn't loud at all. No. Nah, so you tell me in, pra in practice, you guys didn't do work. No, uh, not really. Not really. It wasn't really a big showing. It was. What about? Kind of, it's kind of depressing. Honestly. What about now? What about last year when you were there? Oh yeah, as, as I said, it's better now. I'm saying they've been quiet for a long time. I'm happy for you guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And, and your stadium's dark and depressing too. It's like. It's kind of it was tough for them for a long time. I'm happy for you guys. We just we just sucked the energy out, out of the opposing I, team. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy we for just you guys. Drained it from you guys. I'm happy. Today on our show, we got my boy, my teammate, my good friend, Khalil Herbert, Juice Herbert, Yo. as we call him. What's good? What's up? Um, what's up? What's up? So, you know, we just came off the dub. Um, we saw you, um, you know, get a little nicked up. Tell me how you feeling, if you can, if you feel free to say, um, how you feeling, man? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good, bro. All things considered, I mean, if you've seen the video, that yeah, just looked look, crazy. It so, looked crazy, yeah. I, look, I didn't even know what happened. I'm on the sideline, like, I'm down, and all the Washington players, like, praying for you 2 4. I'm like, oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah. I didn't even want to look at my leg, but yeah. thankfully, you know, God good, man. I, it's nothing too crazy, so I'll be back in a little bit. Wait, I never asked you this, though. Why'd you go back in the game? That was crazy. Oh, because. I don't know. I feel like the adrenaline and stuff, like, you know, you feel like you can still go and, like, yeah, I was able yeah. to run straight. But, like, uh -huh. I didn't do no cutting on the sideline. Like, I tried to, but I was like, once I get in, the adrenaline will take the adrenaline will take over. Yeah. Like, I get in, I'm like, man, I hope he just calls a run to the left, <laughs> call a run to the right. I go to cut off it. I'm like, yeah. And you drop. Mm. Yeah, so I, I had no cutting off it, so I was like, yeah, I might be done for today. So. Wait, I, I seen I was watching the game. I saw the whole play. Bro, you got you blame Justin for that or what? Because I'm watching nah, like, bro. Nah, if he throws it nah. up a little more, I mean, no, nah, that's not happening. Like yeah, that thing was low to his right, had bent up. I'm like, ooh, that's 
that's a tell. But he was just trying to make a play, man. Right now, I feel it. I thought I caught it too. They called it incomplete. I was like, oh, <laughs> should let that shit drop. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Right, right. I'm straight though. How long? How long are you gonna be out for? You know. Um, they gave me a long, a, a wide range, so I'm thinking like right in the middle of it. Right. I hurt my ankle last year against the Vikings. Was it high ankle or low ankle? I don't even know if I can say. Can right, I say? right. <laughs> no, don't even say. He's, try, he's trying to set you up. He's trying to set you up. Look, look. I'm not. Don't yeah. worry. We don't. We don't need no setup from you guys. Uh, uh, Y'all got to worry about who you got next week. Mm, Vikings. Y'all got to worry about the Vikings. The one and four Bears versus the one and four Vikings. Who you guys got? Big game. Who the Lions got? The Buccaneers. You guys played them, right? Yeah. Good yeah. team. They they pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, we got a. They got a good defense, so we got to lock in. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Though? Oh yeah, the ankle. I hurt my ankle versus the Vikings last year. Uh, like a high ankle, like just like you. I came out for like a series. Um, took like tore it all right on the sideline. Boom, popped yeah. it. Went back in, but it just wasn't the same. I mean, you're able to finish the game, but the next day, I know it hurt. Hell yeah, uh, yeah. I thought uh, that joint would wear off. Usually, I've had some, but. Yeah, like I'm gonna that. never do that again because Devontae told me like, um, don't shoot toward on your ankles or knees because nah, it wasn't. It's a pill, bro. Or yeah, whatever. You don't, take a pill. don't do the needle. Oh, 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 we're not needle, but, but back then, back then, but say don't take a turtle for your ankle or knee because you don't really know how bad it is and you will just make it worse. And then the next day, like you could have really fucked your ankle up or knee up if you take a turtle pill and then you, you're feeling good for the game. And afterwards, it might be much worse because the, you don't want to fuck with the joints. All right, doctor. But, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, <laughs> Doctor EQ, like, some, some some vet shit, some vet shit, you know, hey, some site. Oh no, that's only working. Right. Yeah, it worked, and then afterwards you're like, mm, "That shit don't work no more. It's worse." You'd be good to the next week. How was the vibes in the locker room? I saw you guys were bumping uh, "Sex Ray." That's you guys like that song? That's the team. I, song? I, I, I put that song on. They're playing a. Uh, uh, They're playing whatever. Which yeah, walking your trap, trap, take away your trap. trap. Yeah, and the song, was, song. The song was ending. That song ended. Someone played another song. And it was like half lock room knew it, half lock room didn't. I'm like, nah, nah. nah. Yeah, I'm like, we got to play ski, so I put ski on, or I told DJ to put it on. He was supposed to, he put that shit on. Nah, it was, it was, yeah. it was a. Uh, I mean, we definitely needed that one, but like it was yeah. super lit, super lit. Yeah. You know, vibes on the plane on the way back. Were the yeah, immaculate? I'm a, I mean, it's I'm almost a, been a year yeah. since you guys won your last. Yeah, game. I mean, I'm a. You know how it feels like when you guys were have won a game until like the ninth game. You know what it feels like. <laughs> right, but like we didn't all yeah. like we didn't have a drought like you guys. You guys went from a like you brought the drought from last year into the season. Like we didn't okay, but you that. know what were you zero and ten when you guys won your first game? Something like that. But like yeah, we didn't, like I said, what it feels like that's like going. Feels like. We didn't go two year a whole year without winning a it game. It wasn't a year, bro. It, was it wasn't. Like, it was what like was it? Like months. two weeks off of a year? <laughs> no, like damn near a year. And every season it, re- it restarts. Like who cares about last season? No one. Like, I know you guys. Season. You guys. No one cares that. about. No one cares about last season. You guys had so much pressure on your back. Oh my god! I know you guys see all the media. Pressure makes diamonds. Pressure, pressure makes, diamonds. makes diamonds. Oh yeah. my! This getting stolen from your thing, dude. Dude retired. Coach left. <laughs> then they're like, Ibrahimovic might be gone. I'm like, I don't know how the players are handling this. Like, you guys are going to that game with just straight Look. trick plays and everything. I was so I was hey. watching. I was like, I'm gonna see what you're about to do. We, 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 we whooped that we ass. Just actually, we can you guys had you guys played well. Yeah, we whooped that ass. Yeah. Pro, we can try everyone to see too. And they just tied up, or they almost beat the um, Eagles game four the week before. Who, bro? That, the I don't, that's not how the league works. Right. You don't go. I I'm, I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, like, like I'm just saying, like, they're a good team. It's not like we just beat take the your steps. Panthers. It's not like we just beat the Panthers. You know, I'm just saying. So who do you guys have again? I forgot. You guys got the Vikings? Vikings. That's right. Bro, you have concussions? Like, what's good? Just remember. Nah, I was just thinking about something else. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good game for you guys. What is it? The bottom? What are you guys like? The, the, the two bottom <laughs> bottom feeders in the no, in the division man. or what? Bro, it's week five. Like, it's a long yeah, season. It's, it's a long season. It's a long yeah. season, bro. I mean, one of you guys are going to have – one of you guys going to be one of five. Tw- yeah. It won't be us. Yeah. We'll see. This is beautiful. You know why? Because like a year ago, I couldn't talk like this. <laughs> like, I can really just say what I want now. I don't give a fuck. Like, hey, look, um, you soon. Give us I got a question. Me. I got a question for you, Khalil. What's up? I know you guys ran. I know you guys seen the Eagles run that. What do they call the tush push? The uh, the QBC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw you guys run it, or you tried to run it against the okay. Commanders. We you got you guys great, got it right. Yeah, we yeah, we got it. Yeah, like. What are, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the play? 
I mean, I feel bad for defenses because it's kind of unstoppable at this point. Like, I mean, between us, the Eagles, a bunch of people try to run it. Some people can't as well, but we've been uh, – we was three for three, I think, the other night, and then the game before we ran like two times and got it. So, I mean, I feel like next year, though, it's going to be – they're going to put some rules in place for it to stop it, honestly, but – I feel like there's a way the Eagles are running it. I'm, I'm watching them do it. It's they the do it different. They, do it different. They, all, they get on all fours. Yeah. You guys didn't like do that? that? But also, I seen a um, tweet from somebody. I think it was JJ Watt. He's saying, like, the push doesn't really help. Like, it helps a little bit, but, like, I feel like you'll still get it just with the O-line going diving the legs. Like, but, like, because I was, I was pushing Justin. Like, I feel like I wasn't really, like, doing anything. Yeah, I was pushing him a little bit, but, like, the whole O line is was, carrying all the momentum. I'm looking at the D line though, like, because the Commanders play the Eagles, so I guess they're used to it. But like, the the yeah. two noses are like on their elbows, like on the <laughs> ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, I wonder if we gonna get this. And we, that's trying to work. Yeah. Like, he got like two, three yards. I'm like, damn. I feel like there has to be a play off of that. Like, they can't just keep it's, go, it's gonna be like a little like, like you guys had uh, a hard play versus us last year. Um, that was tough. Um, where Cole pitches, pitches it. it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm yeah, like, oh fun. my god. You know, yeah. like they used to do it back in the day, like where they like hide somebody and like the quarterback like snaps it, gives hands it between his leg, and like everybody waits. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Something like that would be hard. Wait, wait, wait. I seen a video. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, I don't yeah, but it's talking about that, I seen a video on Twitter about the Lions. You guys like, snapped you like between that, that, huh? that almost oh, yeah, didn't work. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't look coordinated. Like, what do you mean? That it was looked perfect. You yeah. See the D line like. When when Jared looked and told Jamal to come in, the D line like got off off or off off the three point stance was chilling, yeah. snap right, right through his legs, right to Demo. I, <laughs> I had to watch the uh, the I had to replay it because I was like, wait, how he got the ball? Yeah. yeah, you guys you guys do a lot of trick plays, huh? You guys did too, huh? I mean, they <laughs> were. I see one side, like, side. We're like three for three. Okay, you see the Niners shots through our trick play like. I don't, think it's it's I don't think they Come stole on, it because it was the same day. It was the same day, so I don't know if they Come stole on, it. Day, same Touchdown. Day. Touchdown. I don't think I don't think they installed it after you guys' game before Sunday. Nah, they didn't. But like we yeah, ran it before. Exactly. We ran it like years before. Oh, you did? Yeah. You, you guys trademarked that? That was, that was your play. I mean, not us, but someone on our team kind of made it big. He went to Purdue. Oh, okay. um, they made it big, and then a bunch of teams started doing it. Mm. Shoot, let's. Right, we got some not rapid fire, but some get to know you questions. So I'm gonna go first. All right, Khalil. Um. What is the first Super Bowl you remember? So, when it, whether you were a kid, like the first Super Bowl you remember watching on TV? Uh, probably what San Fran and the 49ers was that Colin Kaepernick? Yeah, yeah, that one probably the biggest one. Like, yeah, probably the only one I remember growing up. That was uh, against the Ravens, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where, the yeah. Lights, where the lights turned off. That was crazy. Yeah, that's right. That's were Ka you were you a fan? You're from Florida, right? Yeah, you were a Dolphins fan growing up. <sighs> I was a Tampa? Eagles fan growing up. Eagles, so was I. That's crazy. Me too, yeah. T.O. T.O. You weren't an Eagles fan, fan. Nimi. You didn't watch football. Like, name you didn't six, watch football either. You, watch you, didn't watch, you didn't watch football either. Name seven players. I was, wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. Hold We're going to act like you watch football. We're going to act like you watch football. Name seven players in the Eagles team. <laughs> not Eagles team. doesn't matter. Please. You didn't watch football. Please name seven players. Okay, okay. Wait, hold Six. On. Five, I can't. Five. I can't. Listen, listen. I can't. Just because you can name the players doesn't mean you watch football. You only know because you, you play Madden. Fan. You only know because you play you No, play I watched the games. Yeah. No, you, you did not wake up at 10 a.m. and watch games. I was in the house. I grew up with you. I know. Yes, I watch football. No. You don't watch football. You don't you know didn't, You didn't wake up. What do you call Papa right now? You did not wake up at 10 a.m. and watch so the Eagles. five players if you're Eagles fan. Bro, fucking Vic, McCoy, okay. Sean wait, Jackson. Wait, 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 wait. What year are you talking about? I'm talking about like, like when they were 20, a team. Way back. 2014, yeah. 2015. Yeah, that's okay, like, okay, okay. basically, let me, let me explain. Khalil, let me explain to you what this fool's talking about. So basically, our closest team was the Chargers. So there's no teams in LA at the time. So I kind of like the Chargers, like, you know, LT and them, but it was like, whatever, they always sucked. So I was playing Madden when I was younger, and I always used the Eagles because I like fucking. You don't even play Madden. Jackson. Not anymore. When I was younger, you used to play you Madden. You never played Madden, bro. Yes, we did. Oh, my God. You're talking crazy. about when you're older. I'm talking about like way, way back. Like, yeah, when I was little. When I was little. McNabb. Okay, uh, no, I was, I was playing, talking about Max Dio. No, Vic was on the team. So when uh, we were little, we didn't, have, we didn't have Xbox Live, right? <laughs> so we'd always play Madden, like, just do, like, fucking play in the house and shit. Like, my friends would come over, we'd play. And I always used the Eagles. And that's yeah, why I started looking Eagles. No, nah, I was cold. But I didn't really watch them on TV because, one, you got to wake up at 10 a.m. He wasn't doing that. Don't let him lie to you. And sometimes you every game was on 10 a.m.? 
That's most actually, of the games, ninety nine percent of the times they play, and, and they didn't air them all the games. The like, dream team back when all they had the dream all team, the, and, they, and and the West Coast they don't air all the East Coast teams. Like this man, don't let him lie to you, bro. This man, bro, name five players. You trying to blow my question? I, I, I told you, I told you, I can't. Anyways, on on to the next. Just don't let him lie to you. He's a fucking cat. Um, what's your favorite non home stadium to play in? Non home stadium, probably uh, what's it uh, what's the what's Vegas Stadium? Allegiant. Yeah, oh, I haven't played there yet. I haven't they played there yet. Nah, that junk fire. Yeah. They are so fire. Is it grass? Nah. It's, well, uh, Allegiant is. They roll yeah, grass yeah. in. Okay. So, like, See, that's yeah, smart. Fast. See, that's smart. So that's fast. Fast. The only reason That's why I don't like so fire because of turf, but like Allegiant smart. and Vegas. Like, it's a Wait, when did, you, when did you play in Allegiant? My uh, rookie year. Allegiant was... Yeah, when did that? That was, that was probably the first year. Twenty twenty one. I think COVID year was the. It was it was finished during COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're the same class, right? Twenty twenty one. This your third year. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. Shoot. Yeah, I didn't even know it was the same year. Yeah, we are. Wait, you went to Virginia Tech? Yeah. You know, um, James Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. James Mitchell. Mr. Grit. That's what we used to call that boy. He's hilarious, bro. Mr. Grit. He gonna That's do everything God. right. I got a little story. Maybe we had um for both of you. We had um in the game last week. Well, I wasn't playing, so you know when they call hands, everyone's on high alert, like on the sideline. You guys probably wouldn't know because you guys aren't in hand situation, but like when you're up and they onside it, you know, hands, hands, hands. So I'm on the sideline. I'm sitting next to James. I'm tired of all game sitting down. They start yelling hands. I'm like, hands, hands. I'm relaying. I'm, I'm echoing it. Hands, hands, hands. <laughs> he goes, damn, Saint, you're echoing, you're echoing that shit a lot right now. I said, on game day, you be quiet as fuck. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> game day, hands, I'd be like, fuck. I got hands. Well, I wasn't I playing. Right, right I wasn't playing. I said, hands, hands. I walked up to one of our dudes that got elevated from practice. I said, hey, are you on hands? We're doing hands, hands. He said, no, no, I'm not on hands. I'm like, fuck, bro. Hands is one of the worst shit ever. Hey, you be out there be like, like waiting on it. I'm like, please don't kick my way. I mean, don't kick it my way. Don't kick it my way. Bro, what? I'm watch that ball go right by me and then go block. They do with a sick kick. Uh, the kicker from the Panthers had like a, you know, the soccer kick name, the, where you go one way and Kick it back the other way with your other foot. Oh with my heel? god! With your heel or no? Not like the uh, the Rabona, you know. Oh, like, Rabona, yeah, yeah. He yeah. did that versus us and got Brock Wright. Uh, got it. it. Yeah, but we ended up getting it. But he uh, got us crazy. It's uh, I would say it's much less scary now with uh, the new rule where you only have a one yard head start. But back in the day when you had like the five oh, yards, yeah, the boys used to be sliding. Oh, oh. Bro. I see that on TV. That shit was terrible. Um, my turn. Yeah. Let's see. What is your? Who's your? You know, favorite artists, musical artists you listen to most? Dang. Right now? I mean, probably Drake. Besides <laughs> Drake. Besides Drake? Let me look at my phone. Um, Rod Wave. Damn. Yeah, Rod. What did you, you think of Drake's new album? I ain't even listened to it yet, honestly. I ain't Me neither. That. I've been listening to Raw Wave and, and Burner Boy lately. I was I was supposed to listen to it on uh after the so, game, but yeah, we was we was, we, was, we had a good time on the plane, so I didn't get to listen to it. Don't get my brother hyped up on Burner Boy. What was the plan? What was the, what was the plan? Right, I love Burner Boy. I put him. <laughs> I put him on Burner Boy. Don't get him hyped. You don't even know. Boy. You don't even know what Burner Boy is. Hey, hey, you would think he's his best friend the way he talks about him. <laughs> he's fine though. Yeah, he fire. is. He's good. He's but he, the glazing is crazy. The what? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that means. Like uh, a glazed donut? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like a frosting? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so just yeah. Drake album, in my opinion, it was it was all right. I'm going to have to I, give it a few I more saw, listens. I've had mixed, I heard mixed feelings. Like some people don't like it. Some people love it. So I got to, I just keep forgetting to listen. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was decent. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait. I just wait to the good songs. EQ, what you be listening to? Let me see right now. The same shit every every day. I feel like you the type. You know the type of music. you know the type of dude when you're in the car like he replays the same song three times. Yeah, that's, that's him. What I'm like, bro, we just heard yeah. this. He's like, it's so good. Let me play it again. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Um, Morgan Wallen. Okay, you know I rock with Morgan Wallen. Bro. It's such a cat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you do not listen to Morgan Wallen. Bro, I'm getting ready for uh, stage shows next year. You know. I got, I got name, to go. Name country, three Morgan Wallen songs. Country, dude. Bro, last night, 
Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you probably right. heard that on TikTok. What else? What do you mean, bro? Like, hey, I got Jackson sends me twenty TikToks a day, bro. <laughs> you sent, bro. You sent me twenty two. You sent me twenty ones a day too. Like, don't don't act I brand new. Not much. All right, chat. Watch this. Let's let's let's, let's check. Let's check. Bro, you stay on TikTok. Can I see? This is this is Khalil. <laughs> that's now me. Look. One look, look. It's Khalil. <laughs> Look, that's me, Khalil. Look at the cap. Look at the cap. Oh my god! You <laughs> tried to cap, bro. That's crazy. No, that's crazy. I didn't realize. It I'm, like I'm, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a podcast with two cappers. I'll be yeah, nah, y'all both be capping like crazy. Anyways, on to the next question. Um, when have you been hit the hardest? Like, do you remember a moment we got like smacked? Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Pause. Whoa. Chill, 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 Whoa. chill, chill, chill. That was crazy. <laughs> he said smack. Oh, shoot. Um, bro, last time someone asked me this question, I jinxed it in college, and I got smacked the next game. So mm. I don't even – the last time really, though, was in college. We was playing Texas when I was at Kansas still. Oh, my gosh. Like, so you said it, Texas? No, we was playing at Texas when I was at Kansas. I was at Kansas before BT. Oh, I didn't know but, that. Um, I, uh, oh, like, he read the play perfectly. I cut off my pulling, my, my fullback, before I could even, like, blink. I'm like, bro, it didn't it didn't hurt, but it looked bad. And, like, I had to delete Twitter and stuff the next couple of <laughs> days. Like, viral. Everyone was that bad? Was like, this you, this you again. Bro, what's his name? Uh. Deshaun Elliott. He was oh there last God. year with y'all. He was on, yeah, yeah. He was on my team. Oh, I was sick, bro. Because it didn't even hurt, but it just looked like bad. I yeah. was like, man. Yeah, that was I got smacked versus Texas, too. Oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, who's behind you? Oh, uh, just a little uh, people recording. Oh, okay, okay. Got some B- BTS tell, stuff going on. Tell him got the shot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Oh, okay, yeah. I got wait I, before before this next question was Puka a running back at uh, Kansas with you? Yeah, so I was a junior when he came in, and we was together my junior and senior year, and then I registered my senior year. What was his last name again? Williams. Bro, his wow. high school highlights crazy. crazy. We were watching him like a few months ago. Crazy, this dude is he uh insane? Like, kicked somebody, and then I think he still scored too. Like he jumped, tried jumping over oh, somebody. Bro, somebody. We got it. You gotta look it up to me after this. Puka Williams. Puka Williams. He was like up his highlights. Yeah, but I'm his highlights and hi- from Jamar. Oh, he's like he from, we're just going through high school the, highlights. He set the oh. Louisiana like record for touchdowns. Oh, he's uh, in high school currently still. No, no, no. no. Oh, bro. Oh, he's in Kansas. He was at Kansas with me my last two years. He was uh, in Cincy. Where's he at now? He was. At, he's in the US, USFL uh, or the XFL, one of them. But he was at Cincy the last two years. Prior. You know, you know the video of AB kicking the punter when he run. Yeah, yeah. It's like Same that, time. but like worse. Like he like yeah. loaded up like crazy. It's like you. It's like laughable. Just right. Watch it. It makes you laugh. Like no crazy way. Crazy person. High school too. Like nobody jumping over people in high school. Um, what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Avatar. The, new, the old one or the new one? Oh, the first one. First one. Yeah. New one. That is the best movie ever. Though. But like the first one, I probably yeah. watched it ten yes. plus times. Bro, that's, that's the best movie ever. Too. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best movie ever. They got a. Uh, have y'all ever been to Disney World in Florida? I have. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Orlando, yeah. you been to like the Avatar part? Uh, Avatar I don't World? think so. I when I was younger, I don't know. I went to Orlando twice for playoff. Uh, like Pop Warner. two years ago, they got like a whole Avatar World. Like it's like it's like realistic and like a whole really? Avatar ride spot. I have to go there. Um, who was your favorite player growing up? LT. Okay. So I always wore 21 up until, well, at Kansas it was retired. But when I went back to VT, I wore it. High school, I wore it. And I was going to get it here, but they gave me 24 and somebody had 21. And I was going to switch back after my rookie year to 21. But my family had already all bought my jersey. So I was like. Who was, who was 21 your rookie year? Uh, Xavier Crawford. He played like nickel. Uh, nickel, yeah, yeah. I remember special teams and stuff. Yeah. You see the difference answer between him and David? Between who? Nimi. Between him and Demo. Like Demo said, said his high school running back. Yeah, that's right. Like, there, this, yeah. Is, this is what I was looking for. Like yeah. a, a normal answer. This dude, David, <laughs> after the show, was in the locker room going crazy on me. Like, if you don't want to answer that, then 
If you don't ask, answer my answer, nigga. Don't ask me. Like, nah, because you, you know Demo. He said he said a bowler or something. What did he say? No, he said his high school. Oh, his high oh, school yeah. running back. Like, yeah, that was he his was favorite cold. running back. He was cold. I could call my homie right now. He was cold. No, I don't yeah. care. We want to yeah. know who your favorite running back was growing up. Yeah. That was my favorite running back. No. He said he's a high school running back. Bro, yes. I'm like, that's not what they want to hear. <laughs> like, who is no, he's, he's being extra. Um, What album do you think has no skips? No skips? So you asked me a question. I got to look at my music. Yeah. Like, um. Ooh. Man, I could go her loss. I could go that Big gunner al- that gunner album too. The uh, uh the clay called? looking one? Gifted and Cursed. Yeah. That one. And then I go uh SOS by Scissor. I like Scissor. Mm, okay. I could listen to Scissor all day. Um, I just seen you had an Xbox controller in your hand. Um, what's your favorite video game of all time? I don't know if you even play games or not. Like, uh, Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty and Fortnite. Really, I right. play. You currently play Call of Duty? Duty? Yeah, I haven't been on in a minute though. Oh, okay. so. During that. the season, I don't really play. Uh-huh. Now I'm gonna start playing a little bit more. Actually. <laughs> but uh, during the off season, that's what I, I really be playing that and Madden every now and then. But that's okay. Wait, so he. You never played with him, have you, Nimi? I haven't know. He's no, every really time he'd be trying to get on Warzone. I, I can look oh, at a dude and tell you he's not good. And like you know, you can look at a guy yeah, and, tell, yeah. and, and tell he's not good at game. Well, like have a have a two a minute conversation about the game, and he I already knows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, he doesn't know what gun is are, working. Are, like. are y'all good? <laughs> bro, I'm the best. Like, bro, he, he's decent. He's decent. I'm the best. I haven't touched a game in two weeks. I can hop on and drop twenty kills easy. Like, it's nothing. Why have you been on? You have been busy? Yeah, yeah. What you been doing? With what? Yeah, what you been doing? My girlfriend's been up here, so she's, she's still there. Nah, she left. Today. Oh, so you can get on now? Oh yeah, I've been after this podcast. I've read on. Back awesome. like I never left type shit, you know. Um, you get the new FIFA too? Yeah. Didn't they change the name? Yeah. Um, what is it? I've been waiting to play that FIFA actually. What is oh it called? I've been right itching here. for it a little bit. I've been feeding. Yeah. Uh, FC, FC twenty four. Is it? Is it the same thing though? Yeah, basically the same game. Bro, get off your Xbox, bro. What are you doing? I was looking for it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so disrespect is crazy. Oh, y'all that was the question. I, I oh my god. Um, what is what was your first concert? My first concert? Oh, crazy actually. Sixth grade. I don't know how my mom let me go to this. I went to a Wiz Khalifa <laughs> Mac Miller concert. <laughs> Bro, and like, you know, you like in middle school, so like you kinda like innocent, don't really know much. But uh-huh. like, as soon as like they close the doors. All the lights went dark. Like, all you see is just like lighters flick, like tch, tch. whole crowd. You see a big cloud of smoke. And I'm like, Bro, what's going on? Everybody starts barking up. I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> he come out like, it's crazy. So I'm like, I get back in the car. I'm going home with my with one of my friends. Like his, his parents picked this up. And I'm like smelling my shirt. I'm like, nah, like there's no way I could walk in the house like this. Cause I smell like straight smoke. So mm-hmm. I throw away my clothes, borrow a change of clothes from him and go home. Wait, wait. Tell my brother what part of Florida you're from, like your city. I'm from I'm from South Florida, Brad. No, no. What's your city called? Fort Lauderdale. Okay, what Are you was your high school? Plantation. Yes, bro. Is that oh, your high school? It's not that. Yeah, I went to American. A, it's, it's, in it's, in, it's it's called Plantation. Wait, you went to American Heritage. Yeah, that's bro, where, a, uh, that the black and black and gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't Pat yeah. go there? Yeah. Who else? I'm a, there? I'm um, a, we wait. got a lot of people that went there. Pat. Patsutane, Tyson Campbell. We're not going to slide over the fact that it's called Plantation, uh, Florida. Marco That's Wilson, crazy. Sony Michelle, uh, Isaiah McKenzie, James. Plantation, Plantation is wild. Crazy, bro. Plantation. It's not. Bro, they that have the crazy. weirdest. Like, Florida has the weirdest bro, names. Bro, that's, a, that's like that's. Bro, that's crazy. It's not that crazy, bro. Like you just boosting it. No, nah, it's like what, what's the area like? Is it like a no, good area, not, a bad area? It's not like, country, it? bro. It's like very it? populated. It's, it's like, it's not a bad area. Red, redneck? No, no. no. Okay. Like, is it no? I don't know if it's racist down there. I don't know. Like Plantation, no. Florida. I, bro, if I was if I was driving, I saw a place called Plantation, Here's Florida. Thing, I would drive around that city. You have to understand, we're in South Florida. Like, it's hella Spanish people, hella mm-hmm. 
Jamaican, Haitian, African, like mm-hmm. Dominican, mm-hmm. Colombian, mm-hmm. Puerto Rican, mm-hmm. like y'all still minorities though. So no, not down there, bro. Really, not down you guys, there. You guys beat the West. Of course, I took one back too to the crib. Kick return. <laughs> I, 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 I got I a homie on my team from Florida. Who? I just, uh, you know, Teddy Bridgewater went to the West. I oh, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, a receiver, Maurice Alexander. He didn't go to the West. He went to uh, Homestead. I know her. You used to him, yeah. We just be messing around. I always give him shit about Florida. He, uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll be watching film about like some you know team. He be like, he from Florida. I'm like, nigga, you know every nigga from Florida. But that's it. Like, he loves to point out a nigga from Florida. Like, we get it. He's from Florida. Like, they all they're, they're all like that. They uh, it's, so it's Broward County is right above Dade. So like Broward is like Heritage, St. Thomas, like, and then you got the Dade County, which is like Miami Northwestern, Central. Like all the other schools, so like Miami and Dade be beefing, but like Broward, I mean Broward and Dade be beefing, but Broward low key run South Florida football. What about St. Thomas Aquinas? Where, where are they at? That's that's in Broward. St. Thomas, Chaminade, like you beat them. St. Thomas. Now they didn't want to play us my senior year. They oh. played us like every year we're reloading, so like a bunch of people will leave and then they want to play us after like all. The we would have smacked y'all. Who? Modern day, we would have whooped on Crazy. you guys. Did y'all beat? I IMG? promise. We beat everybody. We, we never lost. I. Y'all lost. We never. Lo- we never lost. Mm. Y'all Ever. Would have us though. We you have think, squad. You think Florida football is better than California? Way better. I, 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 I. You know, I think Shamanar is actually playing modern day this year. I hope they do, but I don't think nobody's messing with Shamanar this year. That's in Florida. Yeah, Shamanar Madonna. They got I've like never heard, I've never heard of them. Really. Yeah, I Shamanad. Mean, I've heard of St. Thomas. I've heard of They're Heritage. They're like the number four school in the, in the in the nation right now. Wait, who's ranked number one? Probably one of y'all Cali schools. You know they'd be biased to y'all. Uh, they don't, no, they modern don't. day, then St. John Bosco, and then the they rest don't. Of Bosco lost in Hawaii. You see that? Did they really? Yes, bro. Bro, we run. Shamanad, my daughter. Now I don't think y'all. I I, I honestly and truly. We would have whooped y'all my senior year. Modern day number one. Modern day number one. Squad, bro. Like we had a squad. Who was on your team? Bro, you who wasn't on my team. So look, Pat, me, Pat, um, Tyson, Tyson went there. We had yeah. we had four, three of our. Teams. But but wait, let's preface that some guys get good after they leave high school. So don't. James Houston, Brian Burns. James Houston was on your team. Yes. He was our he was our tight end and he was our sparky. Like okay, our, he was your tight end. Was, Keep going. That's no, all I had to hear. Keep going. BNT. He played linebacker. He was your tight end. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he could block that boy. Come down here. What was we got? Um, <laughs> who else on our team? So my we had like our our left tackle and our right tackle both were five stars. One of them played Ter- Tadero Slayton. He played D line for the Packers now. The other one, my cousin, oh really Slayton? Yeah. Okay. Um, the other one, my cousin, he played for. He went to Miami. He had Tulsa now. Uh, who else was on our team? Brandon Johnson. He played for number 89 for the Broncos. He scored against us. Was one of the receivers. Um, who else was on my team? Right who was your quarterback? My quarterback, Jason Brown. He went to Harvard and then ended up playing safety at Harvard. But Just off that alone, I think we would beat you guys. The That's quarterback good. is, is yeah. not a situation. Is not all, yeah, how's a quarterback going to play safety at Harvard? That means he wasn't good enough. To because play. our whole O line went D one. We had really? two running backs that went D one. Both our all three of our receivers went to Pitt, Michigan State, and who uh, who who the receivers? Brandon Johnson, uh, Larice, I forget Reese last name, and then Dontavious Butler, and then our tight end Nick Eubanks. He was I think he was up there with y'all for a little bit. He was on the Colts when we played them for the preseason, but he went to Michigan. You guys want state? You guys want state? You know the crazy thing? We didn't. Wow. You know who we lost? Us. Like, take care of your state first. Like, yeah, no, no, on no, me. No. Like, it, it, it would have been like a four P. We lost in like the third round to Hollandale. It was Zach Moss on that team oh, and yeah. uh, Tyler Huntley. And they had another dude. But like, bro, it was on some crazy. Like, he sacked in the backfield, like, throw it up behind his back, bro, catch it, take off down the side. Like, we lost 20 to 27. And we already beat them before. Like it was a crazy. It was, they just getting lucky. But anyways, we're not, we're not worried about them. Yeah, no one cares about Florida football, anyways. Um, three of them, man. Who, who's the funniest teammate you ever had? Funniest teammate, <laughs> Tariq Cohen. Everyone says him all the time. They all uh, say Moon said him. You said him. Buddy, Dino said him. Man. Yeah, 
Bro, I'd be texting him and just be laughing through text, bro. <laughs> that's, that's how you know someone's bro. funny when you can yeah. laugh through text, bro. That, yeah, that's him. true. He was on like Good Morning America the other day or something. Mm-hmm. Bro, was on on a national TV show with a beater on, bro. I'm like, man, this is <laughs> where's he from? Out, bro. He from uh North Carolina. Oh, okay. So I think he went to A and T. I don't know from where in North Carolina, but mm-hmm. yeah, he a clown. So I'm very excited to see Travis Scott live in Chicago when he comes down here. Um, I'm going to be getting my tickets through SeatGeek, um, which is a sponsor for today's video. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With the NFL and NHL season in full swing and the NBA starting soon, SeatGeek has your tickets to every game. Plus, artists like Travis Scott and Zach Bryan are on tour. They put all your tickets across the web in one place to make it easy and uh, making sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket has a rating scale from 1 to 10, so green is awfully good. Uh, make sure you get the green ones. Every ticket is backed by our buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swap. So if you don't want to go or you can't make it, um, it's easy to swap out your tickets. And you know, I came through for you guys. Use our code SBB for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars off your first purchase with promo code SBB Saint Brown Brothers. Um, make sure you click the link in the description to download that. Juice, where does the name Juice come from? Uh, so I actually got it from one of my coaches and athletic trainers in high school. Just cause. Just cause. Well, cause I was like super, you know, like you wake up in the morning, like nobody really want to do nothing and like be tired after school for practice. You were, that, you were that guy? You were that guy? I was that guy. So I was just always ready. Like always, like let's go. Like, like amped up? Like, yeah. So. Is it still like started, that maybe? Like early then, in the morning? And then, you know, yeah, I started hooping on really. the field and then I was like, damn, like, this boy kind of nice. So it just carried over to the field. School started calling me. I got to college. Just kept going on, bro. So. Trailer. Um. Yeah, I feel that. What was it like growing up in Florida? Because I know, like I said, I have teammates that are from Florida. They like to give me shit. You're from, you're from Brown Orange County. County. Brown you go, County. You're, Brown, you're from Orange Brown. County. You're soft. I'm from Florida. I'm from Florida. Like it's different. What's it, what? Yeah. Well, how's it different? Like explain. It's different, bro. Like just like one. It's like you got dogs everywhere, speed everywhere. So it's like our whole football team. Our coach made us run track. Like, so everybody's sliding. Everybody's good. Like, it's, you can't, like, if you're not good, or you, you, you got to be good down there. To, and you got to be good down there. One, because you play with such good people, so it raises everybody level competition. What about the so, neighborhood you grew up in? Like, what about it? What, what kind of neighborhood did you grow up in? I grew up in a nice neighborhood. Nice neighborhood? Nice neighborhood. It's Florida. not like. Y'all be thinking like Florida, like ghetto. And like, I, I didn't want to say it. Like I could just tell when you like first that, hopped on the call, like it's you came from a nice neighborhood. Like, I didn't want to say it. But you, <laughs> you confirmed it for me. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're one of us. You're and, one of us. <laughs> thing too, like Broward versus Dade. Like Broward is is a lot nicer than Dade. Like in some parts, you know what I'm saying. So like Broward, they'd be like, oh, everybody go to private schools, this, that, the other. But we got them too, man. So Florida is not it's not what they make it out to seem. It's, it's, it's not, not what they not, make it out to seem. We got some dogs though. They hype it's it up. They it's hype so tough. It, it's so like, tough. Like oh yeah, no, they hype, it's, it's earth. It's earth. Put it that way. Um, you got your parts, just like every place. I feel like you got your parts, but like I wasn't from one of the parts. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Pick a fence. Uh huh. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so what was your recruiting like out of high school? I know you went to Kansas. Uh, so tell me, run, run me through that. Oh, so do you take any trips? Shit like that. No, I got – I took two visits to mm-hmm. Southeastern Missouri State, SEMO. My second one was – He was there? <laughs> <laughs> Who was there? You said SEMO? No, like Southeastern Missouri State. Oh, I thought you said – It was oh, okay. S-E-M-O, not Coach. Oh, okay. I thought I said And then uh, one after that was Kansas. Like, I didn't get no offers really till my senior year, but I only had eight. Like, all of them were – Kansas, I got two weeks before signing day. Other than that, my biggest offer was uh, FIU. And then uh rest of them was, like, Patriot League, like Fordham. Uh, mm. Shoot, what else? Chase, Chase Edmonds went there. Yeah, Running like right. like them schools. Like, because I was smart. You know what I'm saying? I was smart here right here. Uh, really? What was your GPA? I don't know. 
was good. It was like a if you were smart, like, you would know. No, it was like a three point seven or something. But like also Heritage is like a really it's not known for football really. It's known for like academics. So like it's like if you went if you graduate from Heritage like yeah. Tom, he was he was telling me he had to do like uh you know we had a uh, you know service hours and then we had like the financial aid hours whatever. Yeah. You had that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. He was, so it was like kind of like a yeah kind of like a. So you never want to go to like Stanford or anything. They run the ball like I didn't like that was an option. You said you were smart though. Yeah, but SAT school had, lacking probably. I only had those certain schools like mm. Fordham. Like I think I had Fordham, Georgia State, not Georgia State. Uh, what's it, Georgia State? They blue and some. Blue and gray. No, blue and black. Georgia, Georgia Southern. Not Georgia Southern. Put up. Um, Fordham, Georgia Southern. I had Kansas, SEMO, FIU, App State, but like I don't really count them because I didn't hear from them like after they offered me. Uh, and the reason low key Darrington committed there, so that's why they, I didn't really. Yeah, it was the same class too. That's crazy. But uh, who were you a three st- four star three star? I was a three. I got my three like after I committed to Kansas though. If that makes sense. Yeah, mm. this guy's but so two. So you got your offer from Kansas, and two days later you committed. Uh, I got it two or, weeks or, before signing day, and then I went up yeah. on my visit. That was my second visit, and I committed uh, on the visit. Mm-hmm. And then I was there all four years. I registered in my senior year, and graduated in three and a half. And then I went to VT as a grad transfer. So why don't you ever claim Kansas? You only claim Virginia Tech. What are you talking about? I was wondering about that. Like I claim both. Answer. On your Instagram, I, I only see Virginia Tech on your Instagram all the time. You know why though? Why? I do post Kansas. Look today, KU football on my story. Go look right now. I'm gonna look right now. I claim both. Uh, it's, it's the same thing to my teammates too. Like I claim both, but like like Valus, he only claims Tennessee. Yeah, he, and then he, uh, Hendon Hooker, he, our quarterback, only claims, only claims Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh, I you know Hendon? Yeah, he was at he was my roommate at VT. I forgot he's up there too. Yeah. That was my no, he just post Tennessee, like, and then nothing. Uh, Jameer, all Alabama, he went to Georgia Tech for two years, bro. Because it's and like all Alabama, like, isn't that like a party school, though? It's, it's like the, it's like the ex girlfriend, you know, like they don't want to. The second school claims you more, like, and like the fan base probably rock with you more. Like, I know VT fans like rock with me a lot more heavy than KU, mm. and like KU, like some like real fans that like really like was stuck with us through the dog days at KU, like will know me and like reach out, but like other than that, like people be like. He went to Kansas, bro. But I claim both. I graduated from both. So, Vegas, he talks about Tennessee all the Wait, time. Wait, he doesn't yeah. ever talk about SC at all. Uh, only negative. Know. Only negative. He would, he would but know. like, he went to- bro, last year when Tennessee was like undefeated, and they, like, oh my, God, he would not shut up about Tennessee. It was Tennessee and everything. Like, he goes back there. Like, he like he's from there. Like, he goes back to Knoxville. Like, he's from uh, he's from Mobile, Mobile Alabama. Mobile, yeah. yeah. He goes he back to Knoxville. Like, Mobile. He love, Where, yeah, he loves to say Mobile. Mobile. Yeah, he has that tattoo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about his tattoos? <laughs> yeah, to each, to each your own, man. You have tattoos, Juice? Yeah, I just got a leg sleeve. I was crazy. I was grilling all my teammates for tattoos. Going. Hey, Y'all got none? I don't have uh, any, but like, basically, I'm the only receiver with that one, kind of. You don't and, want any now? I mean. That's, that's my dryer. I'm clean canvas. How many people can say they're clean canvas nowadays? You know what I mean? That's what's up. I respect yeah. it. I was, yeah. I was up until I got my first tattoo, uh, twenty. You think you could? You think we could turn that? Uh, Sorry, that, that dryer off. It's about to stop. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know how we'll, to wait. Turn it off. we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Right, there it is. I don't know. Oh, perfect. I don't, I don't think Mooney has any tattoos either. I said he was thinking about getting one. I'm like, don't get one. But he doesn't. Yeah, I had. I didn't have any until 2020, and then I just decided to get my whole leg done, and that's. On a whim, I, just just randomly, just like fuck it. Yeah, pretty much. You know, COVID, you had a lot of time to think, so I was like, uh, like anyway, this dude, the dudes on our team have hella tattoos, right? I'm like, bro, you guys just rushed it. Like, I know dudes in <laughs> college that bad. They, yeah, nothing. Some, and all some dudes boom. in college wanted tattoos before spring ball, so they rushed it before they got to enrolled. Got a quick sleeve. Shit was burning during spring ball. Had to wear a sleeve. Like shit was peeling. I'm like, bro, I can tell you, people that spend good money on a tattoo and rushed it, and they're like, no, you can't. No, you can't. He's like, yeah. One of my team was like, one of my team was like, show me where mine was. He was holding his arms out like this. <laughs> I was like, you want me to show you where your first tattoo was? I'm like, he's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, let me see. Other, flip your arm. He did this. Shit was so old. I said this one. He goes, yeah, fuck. 
that shit was so <laughs> bad. You said the quality, everything was ass. Yeah. I'm like, and you gotta go, and you gotta go the same artist. So like, you go a different. Nah, artist, you definitely you know. do. Like, I went yeah. to the same dude, but like, I, I did my knee. Like, that was my last part, and like, that joint hurt so bad, and I was just like having wanted one second. So, so it's, 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 it's just your lower shin. That's it. No, nah, it's my whole leg. Like, bro, I don't, I don't look your legs like that. So you know. literally would, every day I, I'm changing. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> you be staring. You gonna look tomorrow now? Why? <laughs> wa- wa- wandering eyes, huh? I'm gonna be longer. Like he right across from me too. So yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> wait, it's a whole leg sleeve or just or just calf? It's my whole leg. Like how long? But also, but also he's dark. So like you can't even tell. I'm not you know, dark guys. You can't. Even, like, I guess. Like it's a whole it's, leg. It go up to like middle of my like right, like middle lower thigh. Dude. Lower thigh. I don't got. I just got boxers on, so I'm not gonna stand up. <laughs> I always wondered that, like dudes that have tattoos all the way up, like Reese. You know Reese. He has, he has tattoos. Yeah, all whole legs. I'm like, I, oh, bro. Oh. oh wait, talk about Reese. What'd you guys do Sunday after the game? We had a little. What was that? Fun. Had some what was fun. That? Reese popped out. I had to show Reese a good time out. In can you the can, can you tell the fans what, what you guys did or not? We just uh the wideouts. We just um went out, got some food. What else? Would you guys rent something? You guys what's, there, what's there to do out there? Yeah, what you guys like? Was that a party bus or was that? I, I like I like Juice asking me questions. Let me answer his question. What's up? <laughs> what's, he what's doesn't want to answer my shit. What's there to do out here? Um, honestly, the basically like Chicago, probably just a little less though. You guys have a, your city. I would say is. A bit, a bit bigger, a bit more to do in the city, but okay. other than that, it's like basically the same. Um, are y'all, I don't really go. I don't really go downtown though. Oh y'all, y'all facility not a, not downtown. It's like twenty minutes from downtown. Okay, so like, wait, so who rented the party bus? <laughs> uh, one of our our OGs, Marvin Jones. He does a good good job of, of doing special occasion like or no? Like just just because you guys because I mean. Nah, not because we won. If, if it was that, if that was the case, we would have been on like yeah. four or five party buses by now. I mean, but, I don't know. You could have been. I don't know. I'm just nah, not seeing nah, this. Not because we won. Just uh, good just time, go, building camaraderie. You know, long season. Okay. Um, I see y'all I had that. A Devin Booker at the game. Was he from there? Yeah, he's from Michigan. Oh, really? Mi- Michigan's cool. finest. Who's that? Who's that? Your guys' games? Probably no one really right now. Uh, <laughs> we had Dirk. Dirk. Had, uh, Dirk's uh, from Chicago. Yeah, Kanye West. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> what game was he at? Last year. I forget. You forget? Um, yeah, yeah, I forget. Dementia? We had no, like concussions. CT. Um, yeah, I forget, though. There's a lot of guys from Chicago. Who else? Yeah, a lot of people be coming out there, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Too much to keep up. Like, yeah, there's so many, there's so many guys. It's like, yeah, on yeah. big screen, like, oh, yeah. I don't know who's from Chicago. Yeah. Like, besides, like, former players, like, who yeah. goes to the games? Like, like all kind of all, all kind of people. Like they show on the big screen every game. It's like yeah, like we'll see really? them after the game, yeah. locker room. Yeah, they're in the locker room. Like when you walk in the locker room, they're to the left, like taking pictures with people and stuff like that. Like who? Like who? Like, like who's at the I game? I forget, bro. Most recently, you keep saying Dirk. Dirk. Little like, Dirk. I remember like, that most yeah, recently. Dirk was the most. Dirk most was recent. at a, Dirk was at the 49ers game with Debo. Okay, like he, that doesn't count. He's at every. Game. He, he's from Chicago though. But he's from Chicago. Okay, who else? Don't say Kanye. Oh, yeah. I've never seen Kanye at a game, bro. Okay. It's like, bro, you know, not, you don't play for the Bears. Bears. You like, you just know from movies, but you don't know their names. Like, yeah. it'd be a lot of those, like, actors. like C-list, like C-list actors. Nah. No, 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 A-list. like Chance the Rapper, Chance the Rapper. Yeah, yeah. Chance. yeah. Is that a game? Yes, I saw, saw him. I saw him in L.A. Who else? Okay. Um, who else? There's so many guys, but like, fuck. hella actors and stuff. You know, like, it's just you know, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of guys. Can't put it, you know. It's, it's, a lot of actors, actually. I didn't know too much. Too much to think about. It is yeah. crazy, though. Like once you start winning, like people just show up. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. dudes that you never thought would just show up. Yeah, you, have, you have no idea. Book was from Michigan. Yes, I, yes, I did. <laughs> like, no idea. You probably didn't know even Eminem was from Michigan, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. Before you played for the Lions, he had no idea. He's like, Who the, "Who's Eminem?" Come on, bro. Don't be <laughs> no idea. That's probably the only dude I knew that was from Michigan. <laughs> NFL players like me, myself, we like to rely on Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. I don't know if you guys have ever taken it. Um, but it's awesome for post game recovery. You get in it, soak in it. Um, it's really like a secret weapon to your recovery routine. It's trusted by the pros who push their bodies to the limit each and every day. Um, sure, even in practice, I know some teams practice differently. You know, Bears, Lions. We might practice a little harder. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you guys definitely gotta gotta check out the Doctor Teal's Epsom salts. Doctor Teal recharges your muscles and helps you recover faster than normal, uh, especially you know in the NFL. 
we play every seven days. So it's a quick turnaround. Sometimes even you play on Thursdays, you only have three days of rest. So I definitely use Dr. Teal to help me recover faster than usual um, and get me back on the field playing. And it's super easy to use. Just draw a bath, throw on the Essam salt, just hang out, relax in there. I don't know what you do, listen to some music. And then once you get out, you'll be ready to go. So don't be shy. Go grab Dr. Teal's Epsom salt and recover fast today like the pros do. Run me through your college experience. You started as a true freshman at, at KU? Yeah. And then went to VT and started there? Yeah. Did you know you were going to start, like, when you committed? Did they say, yeah? I mean, before I got there, it was 0-12. So, like, I oh, knew it was damn. a high possibility. Right. Uh, but then I just bought out. It was a fall, fall camp, so then they let me start. I mean, I started pretty much every year. And when me and when Puka got there, me and him, like, split. And we got to put hey, – Mike – Producer, we got to put Puka highlights in here, please. The kid, no, you got crazy. to. <laughs> He'd be doing some stuff, bro. I'm like, bro, he better come in here and take my spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you He's know, when you're like a soft, then you have your freshman year in college, you have, I don't know, you play a little. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, st they start recruit, they yeah. recruiting dudes in your, in your in your position. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, commit. I'm like, watching his highlights, like, <laughs> oh shit. Like, kind of, like, kind of good. But yeah, that's, that's yeah, the worst. KU like, was five though. Like I mean, besides like we were lo we were losing a lot, but like the university and like basketball there is huge. But like it was live though. I'm not gonna lie. What uh you had more fun at KU or? Well, VT? yeah, I'd say KU because VT was COVID, so like we couldn't like. You only there for one year? Yeah, I was only there for one year. Uh, My grad year. I was only there 2020. But, uh, yeah. like, we did stuff, but, like, the one time we, like, went out and, like, hung out and with everybody, the whole offense caught COVID. So, like, that was the last thing we got to get together. <laughs> but then we didn't have to test for the rest of the season. But, yeah, so I say KU. Wait, if Puka was so good, why did he come into Kansas? Not not trying to share your score or anything, but, like, if he was so good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, why didn't he go somewhere else? Uh, so we had a lot of Louisiana people low key on our team. One of our really? coaches, my running back coach, is from Louisiana, so uh -huh. like they was trying, they started like a pipeline, and then we got less miles. Like, why didn't he go to LSU? He could have. He had every offer, bro. Every offer, but he just wanted to come in and play right away, and uh, he okay. messed with our running back coach. So, okay. Then we had less miles too. He came in my senior year, so like that added more Louisiana boys. Hmm. Right. You looking at his highlights? Uh, yeah, I was looking at them right now. <laughs> Did you see it? Which the high school ones? Yeah, I'm looking at them low key. Jay just Hart, go, bro. Just skip to the kick. Like I, I think he had like four times rushing. I don't know, I don't know when that is. There's, it looks fake. It looks like he's going against literally pop Warner kids. He looks like a receiver. Yeah, he was like 170, soaking wet. But yeah, he looks, he looks like I don't know sure. how he would run through people, run by people, jump over people. And yeah, like he's he, playing in Louisiana. He like, may be 175. Louisiana's no, not good football. No competition on there. <laughs> like, if it's not California, like. Bro, so, y'all got two no, teams. No, no competition, bro. Like, if if y'all have like, more than two teams, like, bro, I, I never forget, bro, when I went to, when I committed Notre Dame. And, like, I don't know if you guys did this. You guys probably did. Like, you can, like, watch everyone's highlights from all your freshmen on the team. But I was looking at people's highlights. Like, they're playing against little ass kids. Like, the varsity is crazy. We just tackle. He has sack every play. He just like literally is from Ohio, like or Indiana. I don't know where he's from, but I'm like, who are you playing against? Like, it's not, it's not gonna translate. Uh, some people be playing like, oh, because KU is right below Kansas, right below Nebraska, so they do like a lot of in Kansas and Nebraska, they do eight man football. I've heard of that. Eight man I've football, heard, man. I've never like heard the field shortened. That's what it didn't. A uh, Leighton Vander Esch play eight man eight man football. I saw that when he got drafted or something. Like the places that don't got a lot of people, like aren't super populated and still got football, high school football. They play eight man football in high school. Yes, bro. It's the weirdest thing ever. Yeah. Anyways, like I said, it's not California. You don't count it. <laughs> so tell me, uh, what was your draft process like? Um, I mean, it was different. Like I got invited to the combine. You probably know too. Like, mm -hmm. but we didn't have the combine. We just had pro days. So it was oh. different. But, like, we had to go to Indy, do all the testing, and then, like, we got all our gear and, like, just left. Like, I was in Indy for, like, 12 hours. Flew in, flew yeah. out, same day. Uh, did pro day, killed pro day. And then, like, it was – I mean, I led the nation all-purpose yards my, my last year. Like, I, I went crazy at VT. 
And like it was anywhere between like second round to sixth. They were saying, "Bro, I was the sixteenth back taken. I went sixth round." So it was a long three days. Sick, like, huh? I know you were sick. sick. Bro, yeah. a full, a I was six round before me. I was. Like, I was. Oh, I was six round, bro. I was six round too, bro. I'm looking at people getting drafted like from little ass schools no that I've never heard of. Me, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, but well, I'm like, I'm looking at these names, like, bro. Who is this from a little ass school out of nowhere? A but corner, I, don't, I don't know where that nowadays. A but fullback went before me, bro. I can almost name every back that went before. He me. said, I can almost name every almost, back. Almost, almost. But um, too many, oh, yeah, sixteen backs, yeah. 16, yeah, crazy. I went six round, pick two seventeen. Like, bro, them. Them two days, I really thought I was going the second day. So like, I had like not a big party, but like all my family over. I had on like me a nice too, bit. me too. And I'm sitting there like that's like, and I'm hot, bro. Like, I was I sick down the block. Like went in my room. I didn't even say bye to nobody. Next day, bro, it's just going, going, going. It's like six, maybe the fifth round now. The Ravens called me. I'm like, oh, like okay, but my agents like they don't got no picks. So I'm like, I'm not trying to answer. They talking about, oh, we're trying to offer you as a free agent spot. I'm like, bro. Uh, that happened to me too, bro. Oh, oh my God. I forgot who it was. I was like, no, 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 no. That's crazy. I hung up. They called me again. like, And I was like, nah, bro. I'm not hearing it. So I, uh, like, it's rounds, fifth round still going, sixth round going. Like, I'm just like, now I'm sitting, like, away from everybody. Like, nobody talking to me. I'm just sitting there, like. And it's a long, it's a long this, day too. This day I didn't wear no fit. Like I had on a hoodie, some <laughs> burks. Like I'm sitting there like hot, bro. And I think I went to go pee. As I'm peeing, I get a call from uh Ryan Pace and them, uh, and Nagy. And I'm like, oh Chicago did. It. I was like, boy, I thought it was another team that offered me a free agency, but no, that joint is long, bro. Bro, long as fuck. Yeah. I remember what pick bro, were you? I was six round. I forget though what pick I was. You I was like, remember. Two seven nah, yeah. crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Let's look it up. Um, he was pick. I remember, bro. Like the third day, like I had like family over and shit, and I'll get calls. Like someone's from even like fucking telemarketers or like at like you know you get calls. Oh man! And like and my phone vibrating. Like you don't have no number say, so you have to answer. And then everyone's looking at me like, oh shit! I'm like, yeah, this yeah. Shit have no. <laughs> oh, bro, that was the worst. Like honestly, worst day of my life. Like two oh seven, huh? Two oh seven. Pick two oh seven. I changed my number like bro, I never right anyone. after I left DT. So like I had a new number, so like nobody was really calling me. But I still had both phones, but like I had gave all the coaches like my new number. So like nobody was calling this giant. Bro, I'm like, you know me, right? I never get mad, right? This is how mad I was after this second day. I went out to blow some blow some steam at Austin and them. But on the way back home, bro, like I low-key got in a fight with Austin. Like I low-key like fought Austin. That's what like I thought. Like a real fight. Like almost. Like it was like a Seven percent, like I've bro. never seen you mad. I don't get mad, bro. But that's how hot I was, bro. Like it, I was so hot, bro. Like it was I one see. of. I remember last time I was that mad. Let me think. And then once it happened, I, I was also was mad when my brother like, didn't get drafted. You was just like third or second round. What you felt like when you got drafted? Like you was relieved, or was you still? I, I was. I was, at first I was relieved. I was like, like at, at that point I'm like, bro, I might not get drafted. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. And then I felt like a relief, and then. Yeah, no, I was bad, relieved hot. bad day. I was, I was I relieved, and I was, I was like, then I started counting how many went before me, and I was like, nah, bro, I don't, I don't watch draft anymore. I don't watch the draft. I never watch it. <laughs> Give you some anxiety. I be watching. I, I just don't now. watch it. Doing I don't now. watch it. Like, I never. I've, ever since my brother's one, I don't watch it. Like, that shit is. Fuck that shit. Not, 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 people think it's the best day ever. Like it's yeah. the best ever for the top ten picks. Bro, that's, <laughs> like, it's so Even stressful. the first rounders that go late be stressing. It's yeah, so yeah. Stressful, they be in that green room, just oh my god. I, I remember like I after that die. weekend, I just wanted to like sleep because like the amount of like up and down, like yeah, shit ass. Um, just... so you and Justin, you guys came in together, right? Yeah. Um, talk to me. Like, what was that like coming in with him? Um, how's your guys' relationship? Because I know, shoot, with my draft class, most of us, all of us are still there except for one. Yeah. I don't know, but are you guys, your draft class all still there? Yeah. It's four of us now. Uh, me, Justin, and then the two that started at left and left guard and left tackle, Larry and Tevin. Uh, yeah, left, left, left. But um, I feel like, especially coming in, like, we, we just know each other. So yeah. we're like, so I know what he's thinking on the field and Vice versa, but 
Um, now it's just cool to just how we're both kind of growing each year right. and see it. So, yeah. What was your guys' uh, reaction to your guys' former teammate getting traded, uh, Chase? Um, sure, that's a good question. I mean, I didn't really have a reaction. Like EQ was probably more. You're closer though. Your interview, but, um, Nimit. Your interview was. <laughs> <laughs> guts. Hey, yo. The locker room too. He right across from me, bro. Yeah, he was there. He was. Like, it. He was here. I'm like, damn, that's a hard question. I'm like, it was horrible. This dude said, putting on his socks. You already know his look when he's putting on shit his oh. socks. On. He's like, um, <laughs> what did he ask you? I was he asked me, like, oh, like, 20 second pause. Like, yeah, you couldn't so, make it any worse. He no, like, so, uh, so, uh, so he asked me, he's like, how are your teammates, how are you and your teammates in the, or your receiver room um, reacting or something like that to Chase not being there or traded? I forget. I'm like, bro. Like, like, I'm like, I, I start talking. Like, hmm. I'm like, I look at him. I'm like, I, I tap KB. I was like, damn, man. Look at EQ. I was like, that's a hard question, man. Bro, I'm like, fuck. And like, you know, they try to set you up. They trying to set you up. Yeah, like, they definitely was trying to set you up. Chase, oh. like Miami live. So, um, yeah, he went to the best. He went from like I don't know hey, what offense to the best offense. Do I'm like, oh, do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's gonna be live though. And you know, Miami, no taxes. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I saw some of they might he might play a little tight end. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because where else? Is he, I heard, like, well, I heard he was knock, I heard he was killing dudes in practice during camp and blocking. Is that right? Oh yeah, he he blocked. Yeah, he can block. He, he's been blocking. He's, he's a big. I mean, you know, he's a big dude. Out. He blocks yeah. for sure. Yeah, like that's that's one thing. Like I brought with him for because like. He going to I know running running, run, run, running backs team. love that shit. A <laughs> receiver that blocks. That's why I like EQ too. He, yeah. You know? I, I you know? Like, but, uh, nah, he going to be, I feel like he going to be straight down there. Yeah, so, and he's, he's in like, a good, he's, he's in a good situation. He might be like a nice little way to extend his career. Cause they don't have a big, uh, I don't feel like they don't have a big receiver. He's they like, like small, fast guys, huh? Yeah. Like yeah. Little dudes, yeah. I don't know yeah. how that's going to work though. They got a lot of, uh, and Miami, just a city. Like I don't, I don't think they live in Miami, but like just a lot of distractions, a lot of distractions. Miami, like Miami is actually not in Miami. It's in Miami. Yeah, no. it's, it's like right yeah. by Broward. Okay. It's on the verge of my day. Be Broward. like you know, it's, it's a nice place. So everybody live, you lives know? in Broward. You you warm, warm weather, like you know, it's, it's, it's just give us just give us the whole Florida rundown. What else? No, I mean good food. Y'all y'all food? have Publix. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. What? All right, man. Look, next off season. Come visit me. <laughs> Wait, where do you live at? I live in Plantation. Uh, where's that like? Isn't Hollywood a city out there? Yeah, Hollywood. Florida. So where, weird, where's bro. that at compared to like Fort Lauderdale in Miami? I'm I'm ten, not even ten minutes from the airport, from Fort Lauderdale Airport. I'm like from that. the beach. I'm where right you, by that highway. Wait, were you there? Don't with Justin and receivers, and we were there. No, right? I went th- in, during the summer. Where were you at? Yeah, no, the first or second time. I only went once. I don't know. All the virus, like, all the I was there because I threw with him and Bayless, but Bayless' car got flooded. That was in like April, though. No, oh, I yeah, no, we came in the summer. Wait, wait his car got wet? Flooded. It was a flood down there. See, Florida, like, it's fucked up. We'd be bro. having hurricanes and stuff. Bro. Yeah, so that was like, in like, what, what, what is that, bro? Like, you can't even live. You can't even live a comfortable life. Like, what is well, that? I'd rather a hurricane you can prepare yeah. for than an earthquake. Than, a, than an earthquake. Bro, that's crazy. Do shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything, bro. Hurricane, it just, like, it, it just shakes a little bit. Look, it, like where I live, I'm 15 minutes from the beach. Yeah, and, I just looked it up. Your house, like, is there insurance? <laughs> yes, you have to get. You have to get hurricane insurance. But like, if if you're five minutes from the beach, that's the only time area you got to worry about flooding and like really actual bad, like winds and stuff. Like where I'm at, like some winds might hit, trees might fall, but like. It's not gonna be crazy. So you like, can't even live on the you can't even live on the you can't even live on the beach like if you want to. Like your I house mean, is fucked. You if you have like five mil, you can live on the beach, but I don't got yeah. five mil, so your, your your house is fucked, like because it's hurricanes every year, pretty much. No, nah, but people be getting like they make certain glasses and stuff, like it's not as bad as you think. Bro, bro. I, seen, I see I see the videos, bro. Like I went out throwing, bro, it was like sunny, all of a sudden it's pouring rain. I'm s- never yeah, and then videos. wait and then wait ten minutes and it'll be gone. But like bro, I'm in the, I'm like drenched in water, like it's crazy. Cause it's not because of humidity. Yeah, it's super hot in the summer. Like I went to you Miami. Ever been, you ever been out to LA? Yeah, I've been like three times last year actually. No, I couldn't live out there though. It's it's not like the people are weird. Like 
It doesn't seem real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Like, it just – maybe because Florida is, like, such a certain way. Like, everybody, like, you know, real. Real people? So you're yeah. saying we're like the LA is like fake people? That's what it feel like. Like I feel it like. don't feel real neither. Like the beach and then the mountains. It's too good it's to be true. Like, yeah, it's like crazy. It's like it's like a movie. Like the shit you see on TV. And then the, the sun be out all day. Like it's too good, huh? Like it's crazy. It's not too good. It's, so you don't you don't really spoil like that? Like you rather be in plantation? <laughs> yeah. Bro, and then also tell me why I went to Fort Lauderdale to throw with Justin and I was there in Miami for like a weekend, like five days. In the summer, it's so hot that no one's like no one's out. It's too hot to be out. It's That's just crazy. it's not hot, bro. It's it's humid, it's, huh? It's both. Like no, it's humid and it's hot. It's ninety eight degrees and it's humid. It's ninety eight. Yeah, it's hot yeah. and it's humid. No, it's both. it was a really hot summer this past summer though, for real, bro. But me and some teammates for the dinner. It's sweating. a rooftop open. I'm sweating, bro. I can't enjoy my dinner. I'm like, what is that in the summer, bro? I'm like, bro. You get crazy. used to it though. Nah. And then I found out I'm talking to people like I'm like, where's everybody at? Because I can't I went I don't know. I'm like, where's everybody at? Like, I'm like, you know, it's like seems pretty dead, like a ghost town almost. It's like, oh, people leave in the summer. They go like to Europe and stuff, or like New York and like that's crazy. It's different. It's, different. Yeah, it's a different vibe down there. Uh, it's, cool to visit. it's cool to visit. You know, it's not living there is not that's, that's how I feel about LA. Like I could visit like three, four days, but then I gotta I gotta get back. They do have hella shoes. Yeah. Hey, Are they talk- real? Yes, bro. Yeah, are they all? Those are all Nike, huh? Are they all from the website? Oh, you got Not a portable camera. Website. You got a portable camera? I don't know. It's, it's your phone? No, it's my iPad. Oh, I flip the camera. Make sure there's nothing we don't want to see on there. No, no. You no can't can't flip shit. It on here. I don't think I can flip. It. I'm gonna show you like this. So like, I get this chair out the way. I got the boxes down there. Then I got these over here. Them some of my girls. And I got some more over here. Yeah, I got Bro, a lot. I'm, I'm gonna need you to tell me when you buy some shit off the Nike website. Is so he the type of dude to uh, pull up to the facility in the fit? Not really. Oh, uh, he be he be wearing the same fit every single day. Yeah, yeah, we, like, yeah. Like, we're, I don't think he switches hoodies. Yeah, I don't. I don't switch. And people don't. People wear the same shit usually. Like, cause you go in there, you just take your shit off. So you don't have. You don't have anyone on your team that comes in like a a mini fit, like just not know, really. Like something like maybe. Slight. I don't see him. DJ, though, DJ be coming sometimes. Sometimes, but he he gets there. Like, people get and they take it off. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't monitor people. Like. Yeah. I don't. But I know what you're saying. Like some people come fitted. You know. Some people. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. I can just really, wear Like as the seasons progress, like less people be like putting stuff on. No, but for real, let me know on the Nike website when you see some shit that's good because I don't be on oh, there like, like you. Like just check. Like, bro. I just but, check daily. Obviously, you check daily. I check like once every two weeks. Like I need you to tell me. So you're a big Sometimes fashion. They, you're a big fashion guy. They be having like Travis's on. You there, check man. daily, bro. Bro, all you have to do is click new releases and scroll. I know, but like you check daily. That's crazy. It takes five minutes, bro. I know, but it's not. It's like it's not. The, it's not what's on my mind when I come home. I'm a I'm a sneakerhead though, so that's. Oh, uh, I could be trying to. I but be, just I just just help just help me out, man. Just help me out. That's all I ask. But anyways. Appreciate you, Khalil, coming on the podcast, man. It's been a pleasure. Um, yeah, I'll see you Wednesday. Hopefully, you get healthy soon. You're not coming in tomorrow? I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate it. Nice.